corporate girl. So we're gonna jump right in. Um, I'm gonna start with my shoes that I got from the bin. These are things that are, these are all mixed up. As you guys saw, I have this bag came from the bins. This bag came. This one came from the bins. Yeah, this one came from the bins, and this one came from the cash and carry with these two purses that are down here. So, without further ado, let me quit talking, talking, talking. I have these Mark Fisher, like, pearl and bow studded sandals. I know it's size nine. I know it's uh, cold pretty much everywhere else around the country, but I live in South Florida. It's summertime year around here. Lucky brand. Lucky brand. I got some lucky brand flats. This one has some funkiness going on here. I'm going to see what I can do about that. But these are in really good condition. Size 9. I mean, they're like hardly nothing wrong with them. I'm going to um, trick those little insides. Okie dokie. These are cute. I picked these up for Leah and then I realized they're not even her size. But somebody would love these. I have some... Um, some are they Michael Kors or Steve Madden? I have some Steve Madden ones that are high top, just like this, with the little bowls on it. So, and they're both a size eight. So I'm gonna just pair them up together and sell them as a lot. The other one kind of have like a shimmery velvet feel to it. I don't know where the other one of this is, but I do have it. This is Mini Tonka, super comfy little moccasin shoe for the kids, a size twelve. Sperry's. Got a pair of woman's fairies, top side. I think these are top siders. Yep. These are comfy. I actually picked these up because, yeah, they're my size. I like these. They make me feel like business, not business, chilling mode. Business meets chilling. <laughs> Goodwill. This is in great condition. I looked this up on Poshmark and saw one just sold for like 61 and others were selling for like 40 But uh, Kristen Bell, let me see. Kristen Bell, it's like a laptop business carry-on bag. Um, that's what it was marked as, like a satchel bag on all the listings. So I'm going to sell it just like that as a laptop bag. Maybe they'll, they'll pick it up. has a couple pockets on it, 100% um, leather. And it's in really nice shape. I like this bag. It's cute. Another one. I think this one was Fossil. Yeah, this is a vintage vintage style Fossil. All leather. Actually, no, this isn't vintage. This is actually... But this is in really, really good condition. When I go to the bins, I hardly ever find any good purses there these days. But this one was really good. So she's a keeper. Another score from the bins. These are going straight to my kitchen. Hercules and Barbie. I don't know. Leah has been on this Barbie thing. She loves watching this Barbie show on Netflix, my two-year-old. So I'm going to let her enjoy those, give those a good scrub down. This is the heart. This is the um, houseware bag. So I'll just show you that stuff. I got a Scooby-Doo pillowcase. A Ralph Lauren pillowcase. You guys, people spend like 40 bucks on pillowcases. What the f is up with that? Tommy Hilfiger pillowcase. I honestly didn't even know this was a thing. Eight. And then the lighting isn't so good in here either. It's my office. So I got those three pillowcases. Total at the cat at the Goodwill bins, I spent $51 and some change. And I got, like I said, these two bags full of things, the bag of hard goods, and then the shoes. So I'm not, I don't even know how many pieces it was. I'll total it up later. This. Life has been given unto me with this. Yep, yeah, because that's what we do as resellers. We put dirty clothes on from the bins for YouTube videos. Ugh. I'm not putting my hood on. This faux fur. The color of it is pristine. I, I did a full examination of this thing. And every 
piece of lighting in that Goodwill bins to make sure that this didn't have a stain or a spot on it. It does have some like distressing to the leather, like right here. But I mean, come on, you got you a freaking fur coat, a vegan fur coat. So yes, this is definitely probably going up into the Poshmark closet tonight. I'm gonna give her a really good steam bath and get that listed. T-shirts, Miami Heat, Suede's last season. Y'all better get with it. Even though, to the death of me, Kansas City Chiefs fan, die hard. I may live in Miami, but the heart's still at home. Speaking of Miami, Miami Dolphins, T-shirt. This is a size large. Victoria's Secret pink joggers. So what's funny about the bins, I don't understand it, is that when people, the people that are at the bins, the things that they're fighting over is the craziest stuff because it's like, when I go, everybody's lined up waiting for the new baskets to come. And what I do is I wait for them to leave and then I go through all of their like throwbacks because they don't understand. Why would you leave these? There's nothing wrong with these. This is a $15, $20 sale. Why would you leave those behind? Uh, Sonoma. I recently just realized this was a thing because I passed by this so much. But this is a quick few bucks. I'm not going to go listing that at a crazy price. But this is in fantastic condition. It is super cozy. I think it's just all cotton. Yep, 100% cotton. It's super duper cozy. It's like a coral color. We have Rock and Roll Hall of Fame t-shirt. I got a lot of stuff from my Depop today too because I wanted to keep getting... Um, I got my second sale on Depop and I started Depop as soon as I started at Poshmark a few months ago. But I didn't get give it nearly the time or attention. So I'm going to change that up. These right here are probably my new favorite thing that I've ever found that is not my size and I'm sad. Hee hee, anthropology, a size large. These are linen pants. But y'all, look at this at the bottom. Are these the pants? No, it's another pair. They open up like at the bottom. But these, they fold up. They have like a little thing that fold up. You can crop them up. These are super duper comfy. Super duper comfy. I found a few pair of linen pants. This right here, I'm definitely going to throw this in the wash before I even attempt to list it. But this is like a face mask for the winter time. So I know that will sell pretty good either on eBay, either eBay or Macari. Jeans. I did well with jeans today too. Torrid jeans. These are a size 20. So I always pick up plus size. I think these are Capri style. No, these are pants. These are jeans. They go all the way down. But they're skinny literally pristine condition there's not a a lick of distress on they probably been washed once y'all 1971 walt disney world hat i can't even put a price tag on this and i'm gonna really probably reach out to a lot of guys that i know um just in the resale community because y'all this hat is old I'm trying to get like a date. The date tag is being ruined. All you got is just this old Disney World tag. But I want to know. I need answers. Socks. This was not an intentional grab, but they're in decent condition, so screw it. I found a lot of this today, too. Columbia. No, I found a lot of, yeah, Columbia and North Face. I found a, like, I was having a North Face party at the Cash and Carry. This is the, what is the side wind or wind? They call this something. I don't know. Just a Columbia jacket, extra large. Black. The black isn't, like, jet black. It is faded out a little bit, so I will make sure to list that. But still at least 20 bucks. Maurice's? Maurice? Maurice's? Marcy's? Poncho. 
little doohickey. I like these type of things. These are super cute. My mom loves wearing these, but this wouldn't fit her. I think this is a size small. It's acrylic. I love when they say one size fit all. This, uh, this doesn't say that, but I love when they say one size fits all because you're like, me and my mom would not be able to wear the same poncho. Here's a, the same brand, but a little bit different style poncho. This one I actually like a little bit more because of the detail that it has. Like, this gives me like little red rotting hood vibes, but it's just not red. So another little cape poncho schmill. That's the cash and carry box. I'm going to give you all the Goodwill stuff. This is super duper cute. The earth is the only planet where rainbows are possible. That's super adorbs. More jeans. M-N-G. Jeans. I don't know. They're size two. These always I I always see this brand on Poshmark. So I was like, I always see it in my cash and carry as well, but I never pick it up. So I'm gonna give these a try, see what I can find these to sell for. Cause these are also in like like new pristine condition. Got a jacket here, Massimo. It says small, but when I was there, I kept looking to see if like, is this small kids or like small big kids? And it's small adults, as you can see. I got this heavy sweater on. I'm not gonna do this. But why I want this so bad, and I'm a happy girl, is because me and my daughter, um, I had like some scrap pieces from some jeans I did some cutoffs on, some distressed jeans. And I had the leftover denim, and so what I did was I took it and I cut hearts out of it, and I glued it to the back of her jean coat. So she has like these three staggering hearts glued onto the back of her coat. We use like um, fabric glue and just glued it on the back of it, and it's so cute. I cannot stand it. So I was like, I want one to look just like this. So I'm gonna take my hearts, and what I'm gonna do is just like on her jacket, right down the center, is I'm gonna just glue my three little hearts, and that's it. Super duper cute. I got a little kids Beatles shirt. I have an adult Beatles shirt just recently listed in my closet. I probably so my sister called. Had to cut that video short. I had to get back to it. Um, fed the kids, put them to bed. Got this shirt, Children's Place. Small. I actually picked this up because it's in really good condition and it fits my son. So I like this little graphics on it cute small nice little marvel tee even though these shirts only sell for like 10 bucks on any platform 10 15 bucks um i still like to pick them up i got it from the bin so the weight of it is like let me weigh it because it's like 175 a pound i think i did the math before it's like 11 cents per pound when i weighed when i weighed down because i think clothes might be 180 something a pound i'm not too sure so this shirt weighs 3.6 ounces, so basically 4 ounces. So that's 44 cent is what I paid for this shirt. So, I mean, $10 minus the fees, which would be like $7.50 on Poshmark, whatever. Profits, profits. Those are those bread and butter items that if you have five, six of those sales a day, you're winning. Cool little MC Hammer style pants. I like when I find stuff like this. It has some beautiful gold embroidered detail going along the side of it. Halloween's in like two weeks, so I'm gonna and these are like new. They've never been run through a washing machine or anything. So um I don't know, I'm gonna list them for the Halloween season, but even without Halloween being around, somebody's gonna pick those up. Um I got these. I've been finding so much linen. Linen makes me happy. These are the ones I thought I found earlier. These are airy. And look at these. But it's this right here that makes me like, I wish I could fit these. It like cuts open and then it just ties at the ankle. You put these on with some sandals or some wedges. Mm, total beach vibes. 
I know summertime's over for most of you, but not for us down here. This is a Japana. I don't think this is like a real name brand, but the print is why I picked it up. It's lovely. Lovely print. And I think this is linen, actually, too. Actually, I know this is linen. I don't even have to look at this tag. I feel it. So, yeah. This will ship for... I mean, this weighs... 7 ounces. So, you guys do the math. 11 cents an ounce. And anything linen, I don't charge up too much for it. But I do... I do charge because it's awesome material to last forever. Super cute polo by Ralph Lauren. This is a baby's 12 month um, little hoodie. It's super cute. South Seas polo Ralph Lauren. It's super adorable. It's in excellent condition. It has no flaws to it. Of course, it's been washed, but that'll sell. Um, I got some Reebok workout pants. Those will do pretty good. Cash and carry haul. Good grief. I got so much. I'm going to just do a separate video on that because I am not even up for it tonight. But I got so much name brand pants. So if you guys want to check that out, check out my next video that I'll be posting up after this. All right. This right here is a Juicy Couture. It's like the terry cloth. It's a full body suit. All the way down. Boot cut style pants. I wish this was jogger. I actually might get crafty and cut open a piece of this and create this into a jogger style because that would just be cuter. And then, of course, I'll just tell them I altered it into a jogger. But that's really good condition. Nothing wrong with that. That one was one of the heavier pieces um, that I paid for. Pin say or pair say per se that makes more sense another pair of linen pants super cute pinstripe well, not pinstripe but uh stripes going down large excellent condition today at the bins everything was really clean surprisingly and i'm super glad this this is a funky find and this thing weighs nothing let me see what it weighs it's already even waste time doing weighing 1.3 ounces, so I pay like 12 cents for that. Mickey Mouse onesie. It doesn't look so bright, but I'm going to just throw it in the wash. This is an older Mickey Mouse, too. Yeah, I can tell by the tag. Let's see the years on this. Oh, it's a 2013. So this just got wore a lot. I didn't even mean to pick up any socks but I'm finding cool socks in here and I like it because sock cam I really do appreciate a good pair of cute socks right, what else do we have from that I think that's it nope another bag nope that is actually it yay so that is all that I got from the Goodwill I spent total $57 there and then $20 even at the cash and carry so, hey, give it a go. Anybody looking to resell online? Um, sometimes it's not always about brands. Sometimes it's like the dress. It's more about pattern, linen material, uh, what's in season, fall's coming up, winter's coming up. So like the poncho styles that I got, these, um, these little poncho, these will go pretty quickly because it's fall. It's it's knitted it's comfy it's cozy people want that for the warm weather um things that i know aren't gonna probably go fast for me are something like this because it's not the season but somebody who's going on vacation going on a trip they'll be in the market for some cute pair of sandals to wear so list it if you have it listed there's always a market for it I, my hair it's been in three different stages in this video and i'm okay with that um Yep, so that's it for me tonight, guys. Have a good one. Um, CC. CC, Jesus. Honest to goodness thrift at on uh, Instagram. Honest to goodness on Poshmark. Honest to goodness thrift on Macari. And honest to goodness thrift at Depop.
Um, you guys got any questions, comment down below. Talk to me, interact with me. Uh, to my subscribers, thank you so much for following me along this reselling journey. Um, I appreciate you watching. Peace and love.